Ready? Is he pretty? Did he potty for you? Thank you, Hunter. Now watch what happens after. Thank you, Hunter. Hold on. Thank you. Hold on. You want a cookie? Do you need a cookie for that? Good boy, Hunter. Thank you, Barney. Now the next couple minutes is what's really important. See how he's gathering the information now? Where did he pee? What does he smell like? Da 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 da. Where is he going? Barney doesn't care. So I already got the look back, which to me is very important. Thank you, Hunter. Here. Thank you. Ready? Get your leash, Barney. Hunter, hold on. Let me give you some more leash. I don't want you to pull right away. I hold the leash tight. Let's go. I watch him get a little bit more animated because now he really has to go poo too because this is our morning walk. Let's see how he's still looking around to see where that dog went. He actually came out from our area. Thank you, Barney. Hold on. I got to spin around. Whee! That dog came in here to go pee. This is marking because it's the outside of our territory, so to speak. You feel better? You do. You ready, Barney? Slow down, please. Hunter. Thank you. Hold on. Ow. Somebody pooped? Barney just did, plant, just planted. Thank you. See how he's feeling a little bit better? Thank you. When we get up further, when we go up the hill a little bit, then I let him off leash. Hold on, Bar Hunter, stop. Thank you. Good stop, Hunter. Okay, let's go. Oh, Hunter. Barney, what are you doing? Thank you. Ready? Go ahead. All done. He got you, Hunter. So you saw how he went from being, from pausing to sniffing <clears throat> to engaged with me. Actually went from pausing to see what the reaction is going to be because Hunter's more visual. Once he paused, realized the dog wasn't a threat. Thank you. He looked back at me for rewards because he didn't react, right? I don't reward for looking at stuff. I reward for looking away. Which technically, if you think about it, that's really what you're doing. Even if the dog looks, takes treat, and then looks back, that's a double reward. <clears throat> but if they look back, they're disengaged. The hunter's going poo really close. Thank you. So... After they look back, that's when I reward because they've disengaged. Thank you, Hunter. When they've disengaged, that's what I like. I don't need them thinking they have to engage. Ooh, that was a good jump. You almost didn't make that one. And if they want to go back and look, and you saw after he looked, he started smelling and sniffing where the dog went. That's fine. That's him making sure that he feels safe enough to continue on. That's him seeking more information of relaxing. That's consciously seeking information. When he was staring, he was subconsciously waiting for the leash to pull, gathering all the other available information around him. That's why the ears move. Things that you can't control. His heart rate, all that stuff. That's your seeking system working too. Not just looking. People think seeking systems the obvious systems. Not as much. That stuff doesn't matter as much as the seeking system when you're when you're processing information when you're in a stressful situation or something that might be dangerous. So this is Scott with Second and No One Canine Life Coaching. And then after that, how he decided to handle it himself. 
We just saw him relax. His blood pressure probably dropped. We walked over, we can go to the bathroom. And you saw him pee, the way he peed. That's marking and de-stressing. That's him saying, I'm good. Then you saw what happened after that. His body language got a little bit more aroused, excited. He was looking forward to coming over here. Thank you, Hunter. He was able to come over here and search and go to the bathroom and just do his own thing to handle it. That's what you want. That's what you want. Now he's more engaged, more social. You want the ball? Oh, I have one. Whoa. I don't have to pull him back. I don't have to correct him. I don't have to constantly make him do stuff. Good, go potty. Good, go potty. You hear him, Hunter? Good boy. I don't know if you can hear the dogs. Somebody just showed up with the dogs. Thank you, Hunter. You can wait, Barney. I see you sneaking in there. So Hunter knows those dogs are over there. Thank you. Barney had his own little stressful morning with the garbage truck, and he decided to use lamb. L-A-M-B. Look at me, buddy. <clears throat> when he came out, he saw the garbage truck, told him to go potty. He went potty, and he stayed sniffing behind me between, he was between, I was between him and the garbage truck. When he felt safe enough to go, he started walking with me. And when he started walking with me, he stayed a lot closer, keeping his eye on the garbage truck, but able to walk with me to get to the truck. That's Lamb. Hunter. Whoa. So this is Scott with Second and One Canine Life Coaching. We're going to have a chill little afternoon. Have a great day.